The gospel today is always a beautiful invitation for us to give from our poverty. The woman, the widow, places from her poverty a gift into the offertory. What is your great poverty that you could put into the offertory, into the basket, so to speak, placing it before Christ and giving that to God? Is it fear? Is it a struggle? Is it a big temptation that's overwhelming you now at this time where you feel like, I just want to give up, I just want to quit? Put before the Lord that small coin, so to speak, from your poverty and let the Lord bless that, recognizing it, that it's all that you had from your poverty. Let us offer the Mass now and from our poverty receive Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Seems just like a regular Saturday in many respects while I'm having a voted Mass in honor of Our Lady, Queen of the Apostles. Let's call to mind our sins, folks. Ask the Lord for His forgiveness and His mercy. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who gave the Holy Spirit to your apostles, as they prayed with Mary, the mother of Jesus. Grant that through her intercession we may faithfully serve your majesty and extend by word and example the glory of your name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingly power, proclaim the word. Be persistent, whether it is convenient or inconvenient. Convince, reprimand, encourage through all patience and teaching. For the time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine, but following their own desires and insatiable curiosity will accumulate teachers and will stop listening to the truth and will be diverted by myths. But you, be self-possessed in all circumstances. Put up with hardship. Perform the, mere, the work of an evangelist. Fulfill your ministry. For I am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. From now on the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord the just judge will award me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. The word of the Lord. A response, I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, with your glory day by day. Cast me not off in my old age, as my strength fails, forsake me not. But I'll always hope and praise you ever more and more. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. I will treat of the mighty works of the Lord, O God, I will tell of your singular justice. O God, you have taught me from my youth, and will until the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. So I will give you thanks with music on the lyre. For your faithfulness, O my God, I will sing your praises with the harp, O Holy One of Israel. May the words of the Lord be on my heart, on my lips, and may worthily and joyfully proclaim this holy gospel. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. In the course of his teaching, Jesus said, Beware of the scribes who like to go around in long robes and accept greetings in the marketplaces, seats of honor in synagogues, and places of honor at banquets. They devour the houses of widows and as a pretext recite lengthy prayers. They will receive a very severe condemnation. He sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd put money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents. Calling his disciples to himself, he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor woman, widow, put in more than all the other contributions to the treasury, for they have all contributed from their surplus wealth. But she, from her poverty, has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. I was reading uh, a beautiful book recently on, on poverty by Father Al Schwartz. It's very beautiful. It's called Poverty, a Sign of the Times. And he actually takes this gospel passage along with the rich young man and Zacchaeus. And he compares it to the Old Testament tithe, which was to give one-tenth of your produce. And Father Al, in this book, he writes very beautifully that he says, well, Zacchaeus makes a promise to pay back more than what he had taken in that encounter in the tree. And then he says, this woman and the rich young man stand in polar opposite response. This woman gives everything. This woman surrenders all. But the rich young man goes away sad. And the point of that is only when we surrender sacrificially, only when we turn over that which we love or that which we desire or that which is our safety, does it really ever bear fruit? Are you like the poor widow these days and turning over some of your time to the Lord? Like even praying when you don't want to pray or praying when you don't feel like God is listening. Are you turning that over? Are you now back to the routine for some of you that are back to just staying busy and not being present to the Lord? Or are you like the rich young man where maybe you're just frivolously wasting time? The Lord is inviting you, come and pray. Time for prayer in the morning. You say, I'll do it later. The point is that the, wood, the woman in the gospel is the answer to all of us, giving from our poverty, giving from that which we rely on, giving from our livelihood. As I celebrate the Mass, ask the Lord to renew you. Ask the Lord to refocus you on what he's asking of you. And let us not just be like the rich people putting in large sums, although that's a blessing, but let us honestly turn it over to the Lord in a good, joyful, sacrificial way, and God will restore the sacrifice of grace to us. For the church and all who serve in the church, that we may be authentic witnesses of your grace and mercy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for an end to violence, a great respect for all life, we pray for unity and peace among all God's people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for the generosity of sacrifice in our hearts. Sacrifice from our poverty. Sacrifice from that which is a weakness in us. Help us, Lord, to turn over all of that to you. Let us pray to the Lord. Holy Spirit, help us to remember those that are suffering in any way. The poor, the lonely, abandoned for those that are in nursing homes that haven't seen their families, for those that cannot be with their grandchildren and, their, and others, we pray to the Lord. And for all who have died, Holy Spirit, grant them eternal rest, we pray to the Lord. God, our Father, hear our prayers and those in our hearts. We ask them through your Son, Jesus, through Mary's intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer, which earth is given, and human hands are made. And become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, humbles himself to share in our own humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you. Lord, wash me in my iniquities, cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. By your favor, O Lord, and through the intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may our offering obtain for your church this grace, that she may grow in the number of your faithful and be ever radiant with an abundance of virtues. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to praise, bless, and glorify your name. On this day, we celebrate the Blessed Mother. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Having partaken, O Lord, of these helps to our salvation, in our commemoration of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of the Apostles, we humbly beseech you that persevering in your will and in service of the Holy Family, your people may draw ever closer to salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.
Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits that prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Today, this Saturday, I'll have um, confessions tonight, folks, uh, from 5 to 8. Just keep checking the website or the flock notes. And then tomorrow, uh, we'll have um, confession and adoration. And I just want to keep bringing people to the parish, getting them to pray. If you haven't been, it's beautiful. It's safe. I would like you to really pray about coming by for an hour and praying uh, because it's just that hour before God. Come and even participate in the Mass. Bring your iPad, participate in the Mass, be in front of the Eucharist, and let us ask the Holy Spirit to um, lift these restrictions so that you folks can receive the Eucharist. God bless you folks.